TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right behind me, YouTube, this is a warning. YouTube, you can trust me. Anything that needed to be edited out or blurred out, it's blurred out. I don't know why y'all be doing me like this with police. And I said, it's blurred out. I did it for you. I, it's done. I didn't curse. I can't do no more. Twitch.com, the lit one at the bottom, man. Patreon and um, merch in the link in the description, man. <sighs> Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Bro said a taco. You wild. It's like these. They are wrapped in something. I took the wrap off, though. Criminals don't share their diaries. So the interceptors cover their bases and spread out across the county. But when the call for action goes out, the lawbreaker needs taking down. The interceptors assemble. The unit needs backup. Katie Eustace is single crew tonight. There's a vehicle that's failed to stop for my colleagues just down here at Annersley. It's been involved in a non stop RTC in Derbyshire. Katie is the second hardest um, working police interceptor. Then Sophie. And then Lisa. It's crazy how they are the only three people I know their names. I can't remember nobody else's name but them three. At this point, they all that matter. Allegedly Ooh. failed to stop following a collision with parked cars earlier in the day. She abandoned her car and was whisked away from the scene by a male in a Seat Leon. The Seat has been spotted, and every intercept unit in the oh, going to jail. is racing to join the pursuit. November 3-3, I'm just top of Annesley Bypass. Katie gonna get you. When it comes to music, Katie's all about girl power. When it comes to motors, what she really, really wants is the Audi RS3. First and foremost, Katie, you look like you listen to Spice Girls. First and foremost. Second of all, RS3 Audi, a solid taste. A solid taste. But tonight, she'll have to settle for the versatile Volvo XC70. The wrong side of the road, and, uh, keep that oh yeah, and my boy Quantum. Yeah, you right. Quantum, the dog. He's the only four characters in this I remember. Just ahead of the pursuit, Katie and another unit pull over to set a trap. That's gonna get a stinger out. They have seconds to deploy the tire deflating device before the pursuit is on top of them. We're up to the. Uh... All right. Sting is deployed. With the target vehicle stung, Katie guns the Volvo and joins the pursuit. Vehicle stung. Vehicle's been stung. Roughly It should be a matter of minutes before the Seat is rolling on its rims and the hit and run Bonnie and Clyde are under arrest. <laughs> But there's a problem. Y'all missed? Racing through red lights. I thought they was going so fast. The runaway Seat is showing no signs of slowing. You've got three in your stick, Redis. I'll be caught too. So the plan is we're going to do a T-pack on the vehicle, decamp. Using a trick straight out of the car chase handbook, he tries to shake the done. cops by leading them through the busy town centre. We are in the town centre. 
Hey, hey, Katie, a crash her car trying to chase you, trying to catch you. You're not really going to get away from Katie. She's willing to put life, women, and, and all of that on the line for this. To a true, a true try hard. Then he takes the cops to a housing estate. What's Katie Instagram? Just curious. Full of speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> The pursuit is 20 minutes old, five patrol cars and a dog van strong. Well, I'm leaning forward to make the car go back faster. <laughs> it's not a video game, Katie. Just because you're leaning forward won't make the car go fast. The driver is refusing to ease off. His luck may be running out. I think he's got a plan for it. It's off line. I think we should try and box him because he's now got a flat front tire potentially. Yes, yes, foot offside has definitely gone. We've got a long straight coming up, should we try? Refusing to give in, the driver's pushing the damaged Seat to the limit. It's doing 100 mile an hour. We need to box it. On a flat? Tires I need to the... Something going wrong with this car, it's uh, constantly increasing speed. The Seat has lost its front tyres. It's time for the interceptors to strike. We are past the vehicle, past the vehicle, we're trying to slow it down. The Seat's run out of road, but so has Katie. Stop. I told you, Katie for the crash something. I'm, listen, Katie is the most crash out police officer on this TV show. I ain't never seen nobody else purposely hit a car. She's done it two times. <laughs> Stop. He's gonna run, Brown. He's gonna run, Brown. He's gonna run. The pursuit took a standstill. Katie, chill. Stop, stop. He's gonna run, Brown. He's gonna run, Brown. He's gonna run. The pursuit took a standstill. Looking bon. And I like her because she know like I'm not gonna get out and chase. I've already t packed I've risked mind, body, and soul for this. Right? The inclined still give the interceptors a run for their money. Run it, run it. To practice form tackling, you had your hands on them. I can still get away. Interceptor Katie Eustace is normally we'll fast forward through this, but Katie got it. I'm gonna watch down a runaway couple in a say up Leon. Sting is deployed. Vehicle still. Despite the tire shredding sting, the couple carried on. <laughs> okay, this is what Lisa would have did before any of this started, right? Lisa would have been like, yeah, there's always a chase going down in this area. And then the camera would have panned away. Everything would have got done. And we would have never seen Lisa again. 100%. But salute, though. But the team pulled off a high-speed stop. And it was the end of the road for the Seat. Stop, stop. It's gonna run, Brown. It's gonna run. Brown, he's gonna run. The driver has ditched his passenger and disappeared into the darkness. But it won't take police dog Monty long to sniff him out. Y'all yeah, know Monty track record. Monty, get down on you. Right, right, right. Brown, he's in here. He's in here. The female passenger has been arrested. But Katie's in no mood for small talk. You and your friends think you can risk our lives like that, you dozy, dozy cat. <laughs> Katie, what you want? The hunt for the driver has stalled. I'm with Dog Handler, we've not got the mail as yet. He's squeezed through a barbed wire fence and the dog just can't get through. You might have saved yourself from a bite. But the interceptors still have an ah. ace up their sleeve. Up above, N pass 54 is ready to take up the chase. N pass 54, is any officers climbing a fence? 
the chopper's thermal imaging camera has already picked out a possible suspect. Oh, we've got him, I think. It's now down to the spotter to guide the cops on the ground to the runaway driver. Come back down, uh, King Close, and sort of bear right. Yes, I'm right. We're walking. King Jump, miss. The driver's off on his heels, but it'll take more than a six foot fence to stop the air support unit. Over the fence, this is going to come out to Norwood Hill Farm. Who's this? Justin Gatlin? He jumped on these fences like he in the US hurdles, four, more, four by four finals. Like, boy, gone. Norwood Hill Farm. We have someone on Norwood Hill. Where the dog at? Empaths, can you see the police vehicles on New Lane? Cars oh, on New Lane, stop driving. There go the dog. To the right here. That's the van, that's the dog truck. It's gonna come out between the two cars. If the driver thinks he can hide behind this fence. I see the dog, go back. Between the two cars. If the driver thinks they got a dog right here, be careful. I'm telling you, he can hide behind this fence. He can think again. Someone just looking over a fence towards a building. It's just to your left, hiding behind it. What's the one confirm the detain, please? Yeah, I'm positive. Got a detainer. Y'all ain't gonna let the dog do what he do. Top work team, nice to done there. Thank you very much. Yeah, and past you can resume. Uh, nice to see you for that. Uh, With both bodies. Telling you, the, the presence of that dog ended this chase. Honey and Clyde now safely under arrest. Katie inspects the aftermath of a pursuit's dramatic finale. We've managed to get past the car in here. My colleagues have got past it in the X5. Um, the vehicle's been stung twice we think which has caused the front tire to go flat which is why he started losing speed my colleague's got in front of him and has been swerving to try and slow him down he's not slowed down so we've put the brakes on and i've stopped him from behind which has caused the damage to our car as well Pause. it needs to be stopped it had gone on for a flipping long time and it was becoming quite dangerous at points and i think we were starting to get to the point where where is it going to go it was going to carry on until we stopped it. Katie, how's your neck? Your neck okay? You got it looked like you got a little whiplash when you did that. Are you alright? What is that? Oh. Salute to the two gifted subs. It took fifteen officers from eight cars. CGO. How do you say a name? That's CGO a million pounds worth of helicopter to bring an end to the chase. Two community sub-gifts. Katie's colleagues from across the border have brought her up to speed on how it all began. Okay, cool. There's been a crash in Derbyshire where a silver Astra has been seen to crash into CG, a number of car vehicles. Okay, gotcha. That driver of the Astra has been taken away by a black Leon, the car we've stopped. They found a purse with that female's name in it with 300 pounds in cash. And they've also found a, um, the car smells of cannabis and a bit of alcohol. So they've asked us to arrest her for section four and also for no insurance, fell and stop at the scene of an accident. This was Katie's whole segment. Back at the Nick, while Bonnie gets checked in. Back at the Nick. Are those black Air Force Ones that she got on? Well. If I go out on a group with a girl and I pro if she if I pick her up and she got on black Air Force Ones. I'm a gentleman, so I'm gonna get out of the car to open the door for you. And if I see black Air Force Ones, I'm gonna whoa, whoa. This not that shorty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a bad judgment call. Uh, we're not doing that. Oh, Bonnie gets checked in. Clyde is taken for a breathalyzer test. That's pure negativity. Yes. Would you believe you've blown zero? Yeah. The driver may not have been drinking, but that doesn't mean he was fit to drive. So, we're going to go to the drugs bit, because you said you've had cannabis. How tall is Katie? 
As expected, the man's blood test proved positive for cannabis. During the blood... As expected, the man's blood test proved positive for cannabis. Katie G, what are you on? Why are you biting your lip for the camera? What are you on about? There is something that we don't know about yeah, Katie. Okay. She has a lot of fun in her spare time. It got her. I've always got this vibe. The three, four times I've seen her. Like, the got... man's blood test proved positive for cannabis. During the blood procedure, he was almost a bit dazed and confused. He's been behind the wheel of a car in that state. It's quite frightening. It's quite lucky that he's not crashed or hurt anybody else. And that it's just his car that's been damaged. He pleaded guilty to dangerous okay. driving, driving without a license or insurance, and breaching a restraining order. He was sent to prison. What rugby team he played for? Look at this move. Look at this power and explosion off of this back foot. Nor the normal human, the normal unathletic human Achilles would have ruptured right here. But well, look at this. Insurance. Get off me. Get off of me. And, and breaching a restraining me. order. He was sent to prison for 15 months. Is it different? <laughs> it couldn't be proven the female was the driver from the previous road traffic accident, so no further action was taken. It's Black Air Force energy. Got her up out of there, didn't it? When Knott's police saw crime rise within the community, they launched a rapid and powerful response. Operation Reacher staged a barrage of raids with the sole aim of disrupting criminality in the Nottinghamshire region. This one they come. Within the year, the unit sees £1.8 million worth of heroin, cocaine and cannabis, as well as eight guns. Heading up the unit is Inspector Marcus Oldroyd. This morning, they're targeting a suspected drug dealer. So we've got a couple of face that warrants uh, this morning. So now the CG for some plus the milk gift is so. You see, you can either still talk rolling up there. So there's two addresses. Um, we've got enough. No cap, bro. You de you deserve that gifted, honestly. <laughs> staff to go to each address we're going to force the doors we'll get in there wait till the dust settles get everything secured locked down and then uh, we'll conduct a sort of search and see what comes out from that yeah let's go then interceptors plan to raid two properties and the suspected dealer's house promises to be a tough nut to crack Body count Intel has already reported that the door is made from heavy-duty plastic, so the team will need more than their trusty battering ram this morning. It's time to wake the neighbours. It really is. Go. A quick entry is vital. Police! Police officer! Bro, imagine cutting a, a line through the door and still having to hit it with the red key multiple times and then do a cut scene to the door being open. Look at this. A quick entry is vital. Cut. They cut it to it just being open. You think I wouldn't notice? I'm one of the best editors on this platform. I notice what I notice. I do this, bro. What are y'all on? Fire, Fire bro. <laughs> The team don't want to give the occupants time to dispose of any drugs. Property's clear. Doesn't appear to be uh, anybody inside. No one's home. With the threat level reduced, Marcus's team crack on with the search. That's one way of opening the door, isn't it? <laughs> They're going to comb every inch of the property. They aren't just hunting for drugs. High worth luxury goods can also be a telltale sign that large quantities of cash are passing through the house. So we forced the door as, as planned. There's nobody here. It's literally a one bed downstairs flat. It, it looks like there's a young female living here by what uh, you can see inside. And uh, they've obviously got a young child because there's a, a nice cotton, what have you, and uh, baby toys and stuff. This is nice. So far, the search has only turned up a selection of mobile phones. 
but the packed cloakroom has attracted the team's attention. In business. Stuffed inside this hold all is a mobile drugs factory. Do you think there's drugs in it? Buttons. Get for dealing out large quantities of uh, drugs. And there's uh, drugs all over it. Quite a lot of crystalline as well. This gear alone is evidence that dealing may have taken place. Like a little production factory thing in here, isn't it? Yeah. Allegedly. Until proved right. <laughs> yeah. And there's more. Back in the cloakroom, tucked behind the tumble dryer, is a concealed safe. A safe. Can I just borrow that torch for a minute? Yep. The door isn't secured, so Chris can look inside. Yes, we've definitely got a lot of brown in here, which would be heroin. Yes. And then all manner of different deal bags with different quantities of drugs in. Quite a substantial amount. Happy days. Yeah. All right. The unit's intel was spot on. But there's something else lurking inside the safe. Something they weren't expecting. Hold on. Expecting to find. One thing in here, we've got a handgun. In a black bag. Carl Lisa. In a Tesco carrier bag. Yeah. Um, and just feeling on the outline. Yeah. I feel the butt of it. So I don't want, obviously don't want to disturb, disturb it as it is. But it looks like there's a handgun. If it is a gun, it could be loaded. So the team are taking no chances. Ooh. Forensics have been called to carefully open the suspicious package. Looking quite old, isn't it? Chris was right. Ooh, blurred it out for me. It's Thank a handgun. Uh, but there's something in the chamber. And it is loaded. Can I have an exhibit bag, please? What size? That size. With the gun safely out of the way, Sergeant Jim Ross sets about bagging up the drugs. Looking like cocaine, and it's got little bits, so which are still quite hard, so it can indicate where it is in the supply chain. This one, which is open, that could be crack cocaine in that bag, and that's why it's in a separate, uh, a separate bag. If it is cocaine, then it's a substantial haul of Class A's. Looks like it's a bag of the heroin just by the colour. After five hours of searching, the evidence is bagged up. And it's time for the unit to head off. I didn't know they did that. The suspect... I guess because nobody is there, they, like, board the door up. It's linked to this property have been charged with possession with intent to supply cocaine and heroin and possession of a firearm and ammunition. It's another gun off the street and another success for Operation... Yeah, everybody in that crib got 10 years. Say goodbye. Wonder what to happen to the child. I hope it had somewhere. Well, the whoever the... Mm, I don't know. Mm. Reacher. I need more info. Still to come... Oh. The glove box... Uh more editing? It's the wrong side of midnight in Nottingham Town Centre. So, it's so a weekday night shift, Monday night. Yeah, just kicking around the city and the normal haunts that we're going around. The interceptors can call up a wealth of high-tech crime-fighting hardware, but their most powerful weapon comes as standard issue to every officer. They talk about the copper's nose, it comes from experience. It's cold, it's dingy, so it kind of makes you think sometimes what is knocking around. You know, why is it knocking around in the estates or in and around the city at two, three, four o'clock in the morning? So it does tend to pique your interest a bit more than it obviously would during the day. Right. Sniffing out crime isn't James's only skill. He's also received a bravery award for wrestling with an armed gunman, but he doesn't like to mention it. And right now, his nostrils are twitching. He spotted a black Mercedes that appeared to hang back when they passed it on the junction. They're heading back for a closer look. Really? Where's that gone? Because that's not it. Down there. The car had two occupants when they spotted it. Is it him? 
The driver gone. Hello, buddy. Hey, mate. Is that your car? No. Not your car? You've just come out of it. No. Where's the driver? The passenger is Romanian and is struggling to understand Dan and James's questions. Mate, where's the driver of the car? He's not me, brother. He's my, my friend. Well, you tell him you've got five minutes to find him or we're seizing the car. He's the girl, I don't know. Is this his house? I don't know. No one knows my house. The driver is nowhere to be seen, but James can hear something in nearby gardens. Someone has woken up the neighbours. Has anything come through your back garden at all? Is anybody going over the fences? Yeah, in my garden. Who's saying in my garden? I'm up here. In here? Yeah, told you, man. It's always that neighbour, man. That concerned citizen. But you know, as they should, you in their garden. It's the middle of the night, huh? Are you police? Yeah, the police, yeah. You were trying, man. Because I what the was. Oh, yeah, your fence is knackered, isn't it? This woman has been rudely interrupted by a late night fence hopper. Is your fence usually damaged like that? No. So that's new damage, is it? Yeah. Definitely James has shirt. no idea how dangerous this suspect is. Police officer with the dog? And the suspect has no idea how dangerous James is. Police officer with the dog stand still. James's cunning deception has failed to flush him out. This could be a job for the police helicopter's thermal imaging camera. Oh, these are armed police too. Okay. Or maybe not. Stand still, mate. Hands up. Hands up, no sudden movements. Stay exactly where you are. Leave your hands where I can see them. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? 24-24, I've got them out. He hopped that fence, shine that light. All he sound, all he seen was back and crack. That's tough. Detained in a rear garden. Officers to me, please, done as I described. Turn around, face the fence. One on one with the freshly found fugitive. Come here. James is aware of three things. The driver has been drinking. He's built like a brick outhouse, <laughs> and James has left his handcuffs in the car. Dan, you got some cuffs? Yeah. I've come over the top of the shed. At the minute, you're under arrest on suspicion of theft of a motor vehicle. No problem. And for driving whilst unfit through drink or drugs. Do you understand me? No problem. Is it your car? No, it's my friend. Your friend's car. Does your friend know you've got it? He's gone. Right. Running from the police, scaling fences and cowering behind sheds suggests that this fella has something to hide. Come back towards me, mate. Yeah. Absolutely no sudden movements or nothing stupid, no. do you understand me? Yeah. Back to this way, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Get your hands there. Yeah. That'll do, mate. You're gonna need two, you're gonna need two cuffs. Oh, OK, here it yeah, is. You can go through the house. Sound. Quite a big chap, aren't you? I'm not feeling out, brother. No, you're not, Alex, but you've run off from me. You've hidden in the back garden, so let's let's stay friends, shall we? No problem. Thankfully, other units have arrived to help secure him. I'm going to try and use another pair of cuffs on you, mate, because I'm struggling to close him, because you're quite a big oh. chap, aren't you? With the driver secured, James can finally search him. Have you got anything on you you shouldn't have? Anything sharp? Anything that's going to hurt me no, or you? No, I'm not... The man isn't carrying anything dangerous. But he does have keys for a car. Would that be a car key? Just not for the car that he was driving. Spin round. Where's car key, Alex? I don't know. Where did you drop it or put it? What have you done with the car? What have you done with the key to your Merc? I don't have it with just one thing. You don't get it with you? No. Why it's are you still in there. Car, then? Is, it, is it your car? It's not my car. It's not your car. No, so that's why then, isn't it? So the problem is you've probably stolen it. Do you want to have a seat in this I'm car then for me, mate? I'm not spoiling nothing. Well, let's not fall out, shall we, mate? So let's have a little sit down. And he's told nothing, I don't take nothing. James knows that he must have been up to something. The question is, what? What? You've driven that car, you've made off from us, you've disappeared down here and you run off from it and started going through people's back gardens. And yeah. on top of that, you smell strongly of alcohol as well. James has had enough of questions. Now he wants answers. 
Because I can smell alcohol in your breath, mate, and obviously I suspect you've been driving tonight. I'm going to get a specimen of breath from you for analysis. Have you had anything to drink tonight, alcohol-wise? Yeah, I drink the alcohol. Yeah? How long ago? Half an hour. Half an hour, sound. If he blows over 35, he's over the drink drive limit. A steady blow into the machine, mate. And he's headed to the cells. It's a nice one, thank you. Spot on. It's just analysing now. Yeah. How would he? Well. What is it? You've blown 35, which is just on the drink drive limit. Yeah. Well, that's a charge y'all not going to do. Anything under 40, y'all don't do, right? We learned that last episode. So you've clearly had a decent amount of alcohol, but you haven't failed the breath test. Where's the key to the car? You go with me. Have you show us where the car key is? Yeah. Come on, then. Having blown under the legal drink drive limit, the suspect has suddenly become a lot more cooperative. Sorry to wake you up and everything. And... Thankfully, they don't need to vault the fence to get back to his hideout. Thankfully, they don't need to... Look at this little convenient fence. I ain't never seen... This is super convenient, though. I didn't even know this was possible in the fencing community. That's that. I'm, that's raw. Like, what was the what was the like? If you cool with your neighbor, you could just lift up your fence and take a part out. If y'all barbecuing, and cold barbecue. If you live next door to your mom or something, or like that's raw. Vault the fence to get back to his hideout. So my typical garden then, fence. I ain't yeah. never seen it. But that there, then, yeah. Yeah. So this is this gentleman's car key and all of his ID. Which he's just dropped on top of this pile of kids' toys in a garden that's not where he lives. He's not the brightest toy in the box, though, is he? I saw you, Dave. You should not taste Have a seat for five you. minutes. Yeah. Bro thought he was drunk, so he ran. Whole time he's sober, so he did this for no reason. All right, what's going to happen is, is we're going to seize the car, because I've got a power to do so, because yeah. it's failed to stop for the police. I'm going to give you a bit of paperwork that explains to you and your brother why we've taken it and how you get the car back. The checks on the Mercedes are back. The man was adamant the car wasn't stolen. Chicken nuggets? And it isn't. Yes, yes, we're happy uh, it's not stolen. It's uh, borrowed to or lent to this mail by another party. It is, however, on the wrong number plates. The car needs UK registration plates. You can't keep driving around in the UK on Romanian number plates. If you're going to drive around, you need to get all of this sorted out. Insurance, tax, and some proper plates on it. Can I give you one bit of advice? I don't know. Don't play hide and seek, mate. You're rubbish at it. Same. Bro, in America, just for making the cops do all of that extra stuff, you're going to go spend the night in jail. And, and now, it, it's normally a charge, too, evading police or something. But here's the thing, though. They didn't do a, ch they didn't do a high speed chase. He just pulled over and he hid. So maybe that's why all the leeway is happening, but I don't know, man, man. This is Take what, care. See, see you later. later, mate. If that was me somewhere in Chicago, boy, you can count on it. I'm going until at least the morning. Ultimately, he's, he's very, very luckily for him. He's blown right on uh, the cusp of the limit where we arrest people. But, and that's why he's disappeared down here. These imported vehicles um, cause us loads of dramas around documentation. If that crashes into you or I on the street, I guarantee we're going to struggle to exchange details. So it's a result, ultimately. No insurance was presented for the Mercedes, so it was seized. As for Romania's least successful hide-and-seek champion, as he couldn't be linked to the car, no charges were brought against him. Holy cow. 35. So what about the broken fence? Who's paying for this lady's broken fence? I think that's a blessing in disguise. We're in custody with him all night. All right. <laughs> the Interceptor's pursuit vehicles come in two different flavors. Jam sandwich, and plain. Jam sandwich? What? Okay. 
Mark cars reassure the public that the police are around and deter anyone thinking of breaking the law. While unmarked cars allow the police to travel unnoticed, which allows them to spot dangerous maneuvers like undertaking. Where are we going? Spotting dodgy drivers in the stealthy Skoda V. Right next to the police is insane. The RS are Helen Neverson and her colleague Dave. Who is Helen? Dave. With a mirror full of blue lights, the driver is going to regret sneaking past that harmless looking Skoda. Hello there, how are you? Well, how are you? Fine, thank you. Have you got some ID on you? Yes, I have. There you go. Okay, what do you do for a living? Actually, at the moment, I'm off sick. Uh, off you? What's it's wrong with you? I'm waiting for an operation. Right. On my knee, but I was an assistant manager as um, in the bookies. Right, okay. Being subbed from a bookmaker's because of a sore knee has a faint whiff of bull, but Helen's concerned about another dodgy smell. Have you got any cannabis in this car? Because uh, it does smell a bit cannabisy. Not in here. A bit cannabisy. It's my tablets. That's it, my lottery. Do you take cannabis? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I do it because of my seizures, but obviously I take tablets as well. But... Right, switch it down for me. Just pass us the keys. There you go. Thank you. Right, I can hear you now. What sort of seizures do you have? Um, well, I had them over a year ago, so I rapidly spoke to the village really yeah. at the time when I was having them. Uh, I wasn't driving, I only passed in April last year. Right. And then I didn't have no seizures, and they said, oh, you have to allow a year. But right. It's been over a year since I've had last of the seizures. Like that. So, He's allowed to drive if he's been passed fit by the DVLA. What isn't acceptable is driving while under the influence of drugs. Have you taken any cannabis today? Not today, so. Not today, right, okay. I'm gonna ask you to come and sit in the back of our, vi our police vehicle, yeah. gonna do some checks on you yeah. and do your drugs test, if that's okay. Is that all right? No Perfect. Just uh, sit in there for me. Car stinks of cannabis. Yeah, I've got a search. some cannabis, matey. Um, when would it uh, back a couple of days ago, to be honest? All right, no worries. So, this is a test here, and it tests for cannabis and uh, and cocaine. Yeah, we know how that works. Just stick your tongue out for me. Just wait for about eight minutes. These roadside tests are helping the interceptors take 60 drug drivers off the UK roads every working day. What's his driving licence saying? Yes, yeah, Sam. Any medical conditions on his licence? No. A scolder. If this driver does have seizures, then a specialist can prescribe medical cannabis. You know your uh, cannabis that you take? Yeah. Is she looked like the lady from Brasic. Brasic? Uh, the, the female cop in Brasic? That, I'm assuming that's not uh, given to you by, or prescribed to you by a doctor. No. Let's be honest. His medical details might be sketchy, but if he hasn't smoked cannabis for a couple of days, at least he won't fail the drugs test. The line's illuminated for cannabis on the drugs wipe. So that means it's positive. Yeah. So it's still in the system. Yeah. They're gonna do a blood test though, so you can still be Is there good. any cannabis in that car? Let me just have a proper think in it, because I'm just thinking. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll look. do. I'm gonna search that car. Yeah. quick search of the Merc turns up an in-car cash box. The driver obviously isn't into contactless payment. A quick look at the glove box suggests he likes to buy it. Uh -huh. Bulk. There's a large amount of, uh, that's cannabis. You got state 12? Yeah, go on. A substantial amount of money in the car and, uh, substantial amount of cannabis popping the boot turns up another sign of the suspect's fondness for cash they are bank note bags which if you are 
dealing in drugs, then uh, that's what you take your money into the bank with. So they can come with us. I mean, not just dealing in drugs. Don't if you got cash and you want to deposit it, don't you take them in that too? Hello. Do I? Yeah. Found those in the boot, which are um, cash bags oh, for yeah. the bank. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're from casino. Right. Okay. Large amount of money in the car, and you're saying that you're unemployed. I am employed. You're unemployed. No, I am employed. Sorry, when I asked you in the car earlier if you were working, you said you were unemployed. No, you're off sick. That's not what he said. Off sick and unemployed are not the same thing, ma'am. You can still get an unemployment, like a like a like a like a sick leave check. Or yeah, whatever. off sick. What job do you have? I'm an assistant manager in, in the restaurant in the Seek Centre. Restaurant manager. The suspect is suffering from a serious case of memory mush. I mean, well, I was a assistant manager as in, in the bookies. Right, okay. I was trying to help. I was trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying for you. You're making it tough for me. Now I look stupid with you. The restaurant managing bookmaker also said that there wasn't any cannabis in his car. Maybe this will jog his memory. Okay. Is it yours? It is, yeah, yeah. It is mine, yeah. Right. I'll be on the floor yesterday. So uh, you're under arrest for uh, driving a motor vehicle on the road whilst over the prescribed uh, limit of cannabis. Custody sweet it is then, unfortunately. He seems all right about it, to be fair. He's admitted that it's his cannabis. He bought it yesterday and forgot to take it out of his glove box. Well, now you're nicked. The cannabis smoking, betting shop managing restaurateur is still under investigation for possession with intent to supply cannabis. He received no further action for drug driving. Still to come. All right, people, we got a substantial amount of evidence. Uh, 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 uh editing to do after this yeah i'm just gonna get a video for my safety yeah. nottinghamshire's interceptors face a constant battle with the county's criminals vehicles fail to stop temporary loss right 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 but when they're not chasing armed car thieves <laughs> or smashing down doors <laughs> They crack on with the day-to-day -day business of policing the county's roads. Dog officer Jen Els is on patrol with police dog... A quantum. Doctor. All right. We go quantum. She's just spotted a car with a faulty headlamp. Go to, please, Mansfield Road. Should be a black Astra. She's going to pull it over to let the driver know. Stop going back at the Vauxhall Astra in black insurance held. Received. The registered keeper is a male born in 2002, which just happens to be the year that Jen joined the force. In her 18 years on the job, she qualified as a dog handler, 18. became Taser certified, Taser and she's also an advanced driver with TPAC oh. authority. I forgot about Jen, low key. Like, if we're rate, like, who, okay, so Jen works hard as well. Now, we only for spot that's for certain is Lisa's. Lisa's. Uh, that's the only spot that's certain. Oh, it might be a three way. Man, that's tough. Ah, man. Sophie still might. Sophie still might be number one. Sophie's number one. Jenna's two. Katie's three. Because Katie don't never get out the car. She will chase you, though. But Jen, she be outside with by herself, finding people, sniffing stuff out with quantum. Okay. That's a fair. That's a fair assessment by... You know what I'm saying? So, reporting a faulty bulb shouldn't be a problem. The car she's following has just turned into a dead-end road. I think they know we're behind him. Keep turning around. Jen's fear is that the four occupants are going to make a run for it. Decap, decap. 
Quantum gets set for a chase. Alright. You got a headlight out. What um? What's that then? Nothing. Oh, we've got a right car of bad lads here, haven't we? Bad lads? Yeah. I won't say bad lads, I'm quite a good lad to be honest. Oh yeah. Yeah, I work <laughs> a nice in five in... job. Why does it smell of weed in your car? Well. It's got nothing to do with me. Nothing at all? Must have fought. Drives must have fought. Really? Yeah. Is that what they smell like? No, I feel sorry for your missus then. <laughs> the car stinks of cannabis, which might explain why the driver ducked down the dead end. Have you got any ID on you? Yeah, I have. What's your name? What's your name? My name? Mm. Dog officer. Dog officer? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I've got a dog in the car. I don't car. know if that's a good enough Do you want to meet him? Do you want to meet him? Yeah. No, I'd like to know your name though. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, you're, you're supposed to identify yourself, so you can't deny that. For the record, uniformed police officers don't need to share their personal details when they're telling someone that their headlamp is out. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. I don't know about that, but I mean, if I ask for you, don't. You don't gotta give me your name, but if I wanted your badge number. I'm just going to get a video for my safety and for yours. No, you no, Get no, his no, camera no, no. out of my face. No, you can't do that. An H-22. Can, can you get another unit to me, no, please? No, no, you can't do that. I'm recording for my safety and I'm for yours. I'm trying to deal with you. Yeah, that's fine. So and I'm recording for my safety and for yours. Yeah, please. If Nottingham's very own Steven Spielberg likes filming coppers, then he's in luck. There's two more on the way. You'd have made this harder than it needed to be, but like, I mean, you can film technically. They filming you in police interceptors and they got body cam. Where you going? Lisa DeSantis and Lewis Marshall are en route to. <laughs> Lisa! By backup. Yeah, we're not far. We're just um, coming up towards Radford now. Oh, she's driving? Okay. Yeah, all good, no rush. Just get towards me if you can. Thank you. Right, are you going to play ball now? Nah. Well, I mean, I've been stopped by the police. This I'm is not my even. Time I'm not even asking you to get out of the car. I was checking you got your documents, yeah. telling you you've got your headlight out, and I was going to let you on your way. And now, as it stands, you're giving me attitude, you're giving me reason to suspect you're up to no good, which means I'm going to have to search the car because it stinks of weed. Then I have a right, as well, as a person... I know you do. ...to know your yeah, name... Yeah, but what have you got yourself number. into now? Yeah, but the thing is, though, I have a right and you... See, you're a 95 law-abiding citizen is what you told her when you walked up to the car. Why are you making this difficult, then? See, you could have just gave that woman your ID. You know what I'm saying? And you've been on your way. Have a, you have now you tweak it. Now y'all might all be going to jail and the car might be gone. You don't even got a cover for your for your light right here. Neither do I at the moment. So that's why I noticed it. Have a right to show me that information if I ask. Jen knows that some battles just aren't worth fighting. Right, Everyone my name's PC Jenny Els. I work on the dog section. I've got a full uniform on. I've got a car with blue lights on. So I think it's quite obvious I'm a police officer. You're just playing. You've been watching too many YouTube videos. What do you see this thing? I mean, cause you could have been on your way by now, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is crazy, because there's no need for it. Just get out of the car, please. Yo, wait, wait. You trying to be cool for your friends, and now you jammed. Just in case. Just in case what? Just in case he needs to record anything again. This fella is determined to become the star of his own epic cop series. Good luck with that, mate. What, what's it going to have to be called? Okay. I could be getting searched, I could be getting arrested right now. I'm not so going to search you, I'm just going to wait for some colleagues to come. And then I'm going to search you, and then I'm going to search these three. Because I can smell weed. So, it's about time you tell me now if there's something... Well, you should have just been quiet. In the car, you're being shifted with your pockets. I just put my lighter in there. Right. So, I don't know what you just... And you're doing something in the back. Keep your hands where I can see them. It don't matter anyway. You got the dogs. Jen, it's over. The jig is up. I mean it. Keep your hands where I can see them at the moment. Got... Keeping this lot in order is like juggling squirrels. Thankfully, backup. Backup has arrived, and Lisa doesn't look like she's about to get out of the car has arrived. Right, so I've pulled him up, he's being awkward. Yeah. The car stinks of weed, so I'm going to get them all out and search him. They're being shifty in the back. 
As the only male officer ah, on the scene, go. Lewis has the task of searching all four lads. Sir, search me, I'm up. Just, sec, just, just calm down, just calm down. Right? Hey, up. Hello. You all right? Jump out of car for us. Stinks in here. It stinks. Luckily, the passengers are more cooperative than the driver. I've got, um, I'll admit, I've got another song. I can smell it, that's why. Right, where is it? What? Yeah. Is that yours? This is mine, but that's in a little bit. That's it, that's all I've got. Golly. What, 50 minutes? 50. All right. This pair have just handed their cannabis straight over. Jed and Lisa give the car a quick search. I don't feel like that's enough to like, you know what I'm saying? Like in America, like when 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 class B's were illegal, they wouldn't take you in for that. They'd make you dump it out and they step on it or pour water on it or something. Lurking in the boot, they find some flashy footwear. Are they real Gucci's or real fake Gucci's? Nice. Well, they out there still in catalytic converters. You need to question your fashion sense lab. Uh, Hey, yo. <laughs> to be fair, they're all right, then. It's turn, isn't it? But... but you've got them wrapped in a silk bag. But look at this. That's how they come. State of them. Yeah, they're a bit dirty. Look at this so state of your car. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> you got Gucci's. Oh, your car need a car wash, man. Car wash is like $6 at the gas station, at the petrol. What do y'all call it? Petrol garage or whatever y'all call it. They might let them go, man. It's been a it's, it's car been wash. Cold. And get your light fixed. Are we right to go, yeah? No. Well, no, because we need to speak to you about cannabis. You just spoke to me. We don't just yeah, say yeah, thanks yeah. for the cannabis. See you later, do we? You've been nicked before. Talk to him, Lisa. <laughs> Never been in trouble with the police before. No. Well, that's about to change today. Yeah, you're gonna get what's well, in as a cannabis warning. You can only get one of them. So if you get caught with cannabis again, more serious. Yeah. All of this started because the lad's car had a faulty light. Turns out he had a replacement bulb the whole time. The thing is, you have to put it yeah, in the and, car. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not a qualified mechanic, so I'm going to have to take to a finger to do that. Really, do you? Even I could do that for you. No cap. The uh, light bulb is pretty easy. You're joking me. I mean, I'm a 17 year old boy. I shouldn't be able to. Um... You shouldn't be driving yeah. around with all your mates in the car with no headlight. I noticed I was being followed by, by a very. Very, very familiar looking car. Obviously a Skoda Octavia, not stupid to what they are. Um, and then it's turned down the same road as me, I made a wrong turn. She came up to the window, um, asked to for my identification. I asked for hers, but she was refusing to give them what she isn't allowed to do. Um, You're embarrassing them. No, not embarrassing. I'm allowed to do. Um, You're embarrassing them. No, not embarrassing. The cameraman keep pointing at these because he know they dirty work. This is dirty work right here. If you're going to get black Air Force Ones, just leave them black. Why are you trying to glamorize them with this shiny reflective Nike symbol? Just go black. This made it look crazy. This is crazy work right here. Like, why would you do this? What in the what made you walk into JD Sports and be like, oh, them is the ones? Nothing. And then your friends probably was like, oh, yeah, those are cold, brother. Like, no. Them are terrible. Embarrassing. I'll stop there. I'll stop there. Yeah, being embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him an award. Yeah. I've been pulled eight times since I've been driving. I've only been driving around two months. I think if you stay calm, eventually, it brings them down to your level. And I think that's what happened there. He couldn't keep it up because I wasn't retaliating to his behaviour. And even his friends were getting annoyed about him. Energy. <laughs> So I think it just goes to show if you just stay calm, you can very often calm the situation down and it's been dealt with, no harm done. Because one of the lads caught with drugs was under 17, he was reported for a cannabis warning, while his mate received an official cannabis caution. As for the driver... Get your headlight fixed. I will. If you need a girl to help you out with it. See, they didn't even take the car. This is... They could have did a lot worse. I'm just saying. He is on the rise. All right, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That was calm. That was a calm interaction, man. Tell a little bit like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Come, come.